The ELEAD program is Engineers in the Lead, and it's a three-part program um, from the sophomore through senior year that focuses on leading the self, leading others, and leading technology and innovation. First and foremost, it's people skills, so um, applying communication, leadership techniques um, to real-world applications. While I was in ELEAD, I think I learned a lot of things that I, I thought might be useful someday, but now being at Harley, it, I never really appreciated how much I had learned and how quickly I had learned it. So ELEAD is an undergraduate engineering leadership program that we developed about five years ago now to really do intentional leadership development for engineering students. Too often, I think, organizations, institutions just leave leadership up to chance and people sort of have to figure out on their own over time uh, and we believe that there's a much better approach, particularly for engineers who maybe don't get as much of that kind of formal development in their curriculum, So, but yet many engineers end up in leadership positions. They get into businesses, they're moved up the leadership route, um, they're often selected because of their technical competencies and their technical knowledge, but no one's really given the opportunity to learn about um, really what leadership involves and so we wanted to start, why wait till you're out in the workplace, why wait until you get an MBA or something like that. We think you can do a lot of the development right as an undergraduate where you don't have any sort of predispositions about what it's about and you're really open to learning more. Not only do they get internship and co-op experience, which is part of the ELEAD program, they also have uh, this opportunity to apply what they're learning through their ELEAD classes. And, and leadership comes in a lot of different uh, in a lot of different ways and you learn that through doing. You don't learn that just by reading a book. First and foremost, the program starts with Leader Shapes the Institute. It's a six day long retreat and I think all the students that have the opportunity to go on um, the retreat have a foundation shaking experience. So I think one of my favorite parts of the ELEAD program was right at the beginning we went on a retreat called Leadership, which also includes students from the College of Business and Com. It's really, um, it's a six day retreat that just focuses very intensely on leadership development and you work on developing your visions for what you want to see in the world and sharing those with others. I was motivated to come back and serve um, because this changed my life and, and the coolest thing about this is that it's, it's focused on your values, your beliefs. What are you passionate about? Now go out and, and do it. And it's it's so enrooted in Marquette's culture. Go set the, the world on fire. When you have businesses and their leaders stopping by to say, this is important, um, and to voice how it has impacted their businesses and their jobs, just reiterates how important it is to develop these, these emotional skills. You know, I, I enjoy actually sitting down and having dinner with a table full of students that I've never met before. Through those discussions, we've actually developed a couple of leadership development uh, opportunities at Husco, and we've come back and actually shared them uh, with Marquette. And one of them that we do is called the Be Bold Leadership Challenge. The Be Bold Challenge is sponsored by Husco International, and their idea, similar to that of the Leadership Retreat, um, is to bring together students from engineering, business, and comm, give them real world challenges, and help have them work to solve them throughout the day. We did well, I think. We hear from um, those people who supervise our students, even at interview time, that our students speak diff very differently about what they see in their future, what they think their role is as an engineer, um, what they think about leadership. I think the companies tell us they see a very different mindset that you don't see in a lot of graduates. I find that ELEAD students are very willing to try something new. And at Husco, we've hired a number of ELEAD uh, students uh, from the co-op program. And, uh, and they've been excellent contributors. I don't think I would have gotten my job at Harley if I wouldn't have been in the ELEAD program, to be honest, because they don't hire a lot of people right out of college. And I think that type of self-awareness that I brought in with me from ELEAD was what set me apart from other candidates and allowed them to kind of step out on a limb and say, um, okay, let's take a chance, let's take a new hire in. Dean Rapella played a very special role in the ELEAD program. This was her vision and growth for the, for the students. She had this vision for developing students in an authentic way, um, where they have communication skills, where they're not just the geeky engineers who know how to hook up wires and run motors, whatever it might be, but they're well-rounded employees. I think the ELU program is really important because 
It helps ensure that when Marquette engineers are going out into the workforce or into additional schooling and other opportunities, that we're not just going in with the technical skills, but also the leadership skills and that willingness to make a difference and to prove that we got our Marquette education and we're out there to make waves in the community.